Nowadays, controlling your home's indoor environment with HVAC is a scientific pursuit, which is why we talk a lot about it on our Home Performance channel. The science of tuning the physics and chemistry of your heating and cooling system gets better all the time. And right now, we're going to show you something new that solves a lot of very interesting challenges. Let's go inside. First, for a small build out of a basement like this or an addition, you typically can't find a regular ducted HVAC system small enough. They're too powerful for what a space like this needs. And if your heating and cooling system is too big, it yanks the temperature around much too quickly and you end up having comfort and humidity problems. And that's why these ductless mini split systems have become so popular all around the world. Not only do they eliminate the need for ductwork, which can be really hard to design and install 100% correctly, I know because I've tried it, but a system like this new one from Carrier packs all the science into a smaller package that can be fit into tighter spaces. One thing we've noticed testing and working with systems from around the world is that they're not all designed to do the same things. And what a typical person in Europe or Asia expects from their HVAC is not the same as what someone in North America is looking for. So an American engineered and designed system with instructions that were written here as well, it makes everything simpler. I mean, we've all had to try to adjust a high tech product that's not user friendly at some point in our lives. For instance, with Carrier's remote control, you have what's called follow me which turns the control into the thermostat, so the unit adjusts to wherever you are in the space. Most ductless systems have the temperature sensor permanently built into the indoor unit itself, which can be frustrating. This unit also has built-in occupancy and light sensors, and you can tell it to blow on you or away from you, and set it to save energy when you're away. To me, though, the single biggest problem that this new carrier unit solves is maintenance. If you follow our channel, you know that when the system uses physics and chemistry to tune the comfort of your home, it's also having side effects on the third big branch of the science of homes, microbiology. Even if a unit is built with antimicrobial plastic, we know from experience that you will grow mildew and mold on any brand of ductless system if it's not cleaned regularly. And this one makes maintenance so much easier for anyone to do themselves. We have another video on this channel of the disassembly and cleaning process of our tiny home's ductless mini split that's 12 minutes long. Corbett has to rewatch it every six months when he takes it apart to clean. And to show you how straightforward this new unit is to take apart and clean, I'm gonna do it myself, eight months pregnant. While Grace is removing the single screw in this quick and easy process, I'd like to make an important point. Any HVAC system is not a product. It's an installed system. So this box is interconnected and interdependent with the line set of compressed coolant, the outdoor unit, and the remote control. And all of those are part of the bigger system of the entire home. So having a manual J right sizing calculation done beforehand is critical for knowing you're installing the correct size unit. And then using the proper install procedure we'll show in the pro version of this video, which we're linking on screen right now, is all part of making sure this system will deliver top performance for years. There, I've removed the blower wheel in one minute. For this deep cleaning process a few times a year, we rinse the blower wheel and we also wipe out the inside of the compartment with disinfectant. Every month though, you'll also wanna wash the filters, which are also really easy to access. One last thing to note, these ductless systems typically do strange things when you specifically ask them to make the air less humid. They'll normally overcool your space to try and achieve that. This ductless unit, however, has a built-in humidity sensor to try to fix that, which we're gonna talk more about in the pro video. Now, after installing anything in a home, you know we like to test it to make sure it's doing what it says it's designed to do on the label. 
So we test the temperature split with a thermometer hygrometer on the return and supply sides while running one of the amazing apps available to technicians nowadays. Now we know for sure we're done. Subscribe to stay tuned to our channel for more information about the science of homes and give us a thumbs up or comment below to share your successes and your struggles with systems like these. Also, you can learn more about this new carrier unit in the link below. Tune in next time.